Neighbors Industries, founded in 1968 as Anglo Energy, Ltd. former Amex symbol, AEL, and currently based in Hamilton, Bermuda, is a global S&P 500 oil, natural gas and geothermal drilling contractor operating on land. Neighbors is the largest land driller in the world with approximately 500 rigs working in more than 20 countries. Neighbors Corporate Services Office is located in Greenspoint District of Houston, Texas. Anthony G. Petrello has been the CEO and Chairman of the Board of Directors since June 2012. Subsidiaries of Neighbors include Canrig Drilling Technology and Ryan Directional Services. In 2017, Neighbors acquired Tesco Corporation in an all-stock transaction. The same year, Neighbors Industries commenced its joint venture company with Saudi Aramco named Sanad. Topic: History. Topic: Anglo Energy. Anglo Energy, Ltd. was founded in 1968, and publicly traded on the American Stock Exchange with Class A shares under the ticker symbol AEL. A through the long secular bear market and economic malaise of the 1970s, the company performed well, leading up to the early 1980s recession, when troubles began to surface. In 1981, earnings came in at $36 million, excluding an extraordinary charge of $2 million. However, coming out of the recession by 1982, the company suffered a loss of $4 million, excluding extraordinary income of $4.6 million. By 1983, the company was in serious trouble. The loss that year had grown to $53 million, excluding an extraordinary charge of an additional $50 million. That year Anglo Energy filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. At that time the company had assets of $694 million, with sales revenue of $310 million, and 860 employees. The stock was halted for trading by the Amex on November 7, 1983, although it continued to trade on the Nasdaq OTC exchange, as it was then known. From its 1970s high, the stock price had fallen by 97% by the end of the year, to a new all-time low. In 1984, with the company in bankruptcy, the loss was less severe than it had been the prior year, at only $25 million, excluding extraordinary income of $6 million. However, the stock price set a new all-time low again that year, and began trading as a penny stock under $1, down another 23% from its 1983 low. In 1985, the loss deepened yet again, to nearly $29 million. By then the company carried long-term debt of $154 million. The stock once again fell to its 1984 low, but then recovered up almost threefold from that low during the year. However, by the end of the year, it had dropped yet again by half from that mid-year high, though it still traded 40% above its all-time low set in the prior two years. In 1986, Anglo Energy emerged from its Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization, and refiled. Despite the reorganization relief that year, which decreased the company's long-term debt to only $32 million, the company's loss deepened yet again in 1986, to its largest since 1983, at $30 million. The penny stock price fell that year by another 50% from its previous 1984-1985 all-time low, to set what would become its final all-time low in 1986. Also that year, the company issued warrants traded on the Amex. Through 1989, in 1987, Anglo Energy exited its Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization and changed its name to Anglo Energy Inc. It continued to trade on the Amex under the ticker symbol AEL. 
By mid-year the stock price rose tenfold from its prior year all-time low, but then fell victim to the 1987 stock market crash. By the end of the year, the stock price dropped from its earlier high that year, by almost 90% again, nearly to the level of its 1986 all-time penny stock low, as the company's 1987 loss amounted to a record $94 million. Topic Neighbors Industries Anglo Energy subsequently changed its name to Neighbors Industries Limited, which also traded on the Amex, under the new symbol NBR, until its move to the New York Stock Exchange by the early 2000s. Eugene M. Eisenberg became chairman of the board and chief executive officer of Neighbors in the 1987 reorganization. From 1969 to 1982, he had been chairman and the principal shareholder of Genomar, Inc., a steel trading and building products manufacturing company, until its sale in 1982. Eugene M. Eisenberg, graduated in 1950 from the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and the school's Eisenberg School of Management is named in his honor. By the early 1990s, Neighbors Industries survived its post-bankruptcy financing troubles by diluting shareholder value, with the issuance of an eight-fold increase in the number of common shares outstanding. But consequently the company kept its debt under control, at under $60 million through the mid-1990s. The company performed well through the 1990-1991 recession, with earnings of $23 million and $37 million, respectively. On October 1, 1991, Anthony G. Petrello was hired and became deputy chairman, president and chief operating officer of Neighbors Industries. Since 1986 he had previously been managing partner of the New York office of the law firm Baker & McKenzie, until his resignation from that firm in 1991. In 1992, the earnings growth trend continued for neighbors, at $44 million. By the end of 1992 the penny stock had risen tenfold again from its 1987 low, and the revived company had been added to the S&P Midcap 400 index. But by 1993, the earnings trend began to turn down again, at only $42 million. In 1994, the economy slowed through the soft landing, and Neighbors Industries' earnings also declined, to only a marginal profit of less than a million dollars. The stock price floundered as well that year, down 30% from its earlier 1993 high. In 1995, earnings fully recovered, to almost $49 million. The company continued to issue shares at a steady pace, but the stock price doubled that year. By early 1996, the stock price rose another 50%, although at that time it was still trading at less than half the 1970s all-time high price of its predecessor. However, the positive trends in the company and in the overall stock market continued through the second half of the decade. During the late 1990s, Neighbors Industries continued to grow, and was added to the S&P 500 index of the largest publicly traded companies in the United States. The stock moved from the Amex to the NYSE. On July 20, 2007, Neighbors Industries sold its CMAR fleet for $189 million in cash to Hornbeck Offshore Services, including 20 offshore supply vessels OSVs. The deal closed in early August 2007. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Ethics Committee Investigation. The House Ethics Committee voted on December 9, 2008, to expand its investigation into Representative Charles B. Rangel to examine his role in preserving a tax loophole for an oil drilling company whose chief executive Eugene Eisenberg pledged $1 million to a City College of New York project that will bear the congressman's name. At the annual shareholders meeting in Houston, Texas on June 2, 2009, Peter Flaherty, president of the National Legal and Policy Center, an ethics watchdog group and a shareholder, questioned Eisenberg about his $1 million pledge to the Rangel Center. 
Eisenberg denied any quid pro quo. Eisenberg was clearly annoyed at Flaherty's line of inquiry. Eisenberg admitted he has paid $400,000 of the pledge and insisted he would pay the rest. Eisenberg called the New York Times article, full of malarkey, and challenged the Times account of a meeting that he had with Rangel on the same day that the Ways and Means Committee was marking up legislation affecting the loophole. Susan Crabtree, The Hill, writes that Flaherty caught the whole exchange between himself and Eisenberg on tape. Topic. Golden Coffin Controversy Also at the Neighbors Annual Shareholders June 2, 2009, meeting, a stockholder proposal calling for investor approval of executive death benefits at Neighbors Industries was voted down. Amalgamated Bank's Longview Funds owns 80,194 shares in Neighbors sponsored the proposal. Amalgamated proposed that neighbors get shareholder approval for agreements that award unearned salary, bonuses and other compensation to executives' estates if they die. These arrangements are called, "...golden coffins." Neighbors had urged its shareholders to vote against the proposal. In April, Neighbors renegotiated new death benefit packages for CEO Eugene Eisenberg and COO Anthony Petrello, lowering the total collective payments by more than $200 million. <laughs> Topic. Jet abuse investigation A June 19, 2011, Wall Street Journal story reviewing FAA records reported that neighbors had failed to provide a dollar figure for the cost of aircraft use by CEO Eugene Eisenberg during 2009 and 2010. According to the article Neighbors Jet Fleet often flew to resort destinations including Palm Beach and Martha's Vineyard, per WSJ estimates those flights alone would have cost over $704,000. An amount that far exceeds the SEC rules which require disclosure of the cost of any personal travel that exceeds $25,000, corporate jet set, leisure versus business. Topic acquisitions and growth In 2010, Neighbors purchased Superior Well Services Company in a $736 million deal. On June 25, 2014, Neighbors reached an agreement with C&J Energy to combine its completion and production operations. In 2015, Neighbors signed a contract with Kazakhstani oil company Kazmanegas, which created a joint venture named KMG Neighbors Drilling Company KNDC and transferred all of the drilling operations performed at Tengiz Field in Kazakhstan from Tengiz Chevroil to KNDC. On October 31, 2016, Neighbors Industries signed a contract with Saudi Aramco, largest oil company in the world, to form a joint venture named Sanad. Sanad commenced operations on December 1, 2017. On August 14, 2017, Neighbors agreed to acquire Tesco Corporation in an all stock transaction for $216 million. The acquisition was completed on December 15, 2017. In August 2017, Neighbors announced the acquisition of Robotic Drilling Systems (RDS) from a Norway-based drilling company, Oddfell Drilling. In October 2018, Neighbors acquired Petromar Technologies, a company that offers a pipeline of innovative products strategically positioned to address the needs of unconventional oil and gas exploration. Topic. Global operations As of 2018, Neighbors Industries operates in more than 20 countries around the world. Annual report. Topic. See also List of oilfield service companies